my my own practice is is um, at its core it's sculptural. I mean, I'm really fascinated by by how materials and objects and the reference points that those objects may have, how they can um, uh, yeah generate landscape, and that that's what I do. So I'm very interested in how working with arrangements of objects, uh, how they can be configured, how they can be reconfigured um, to, to generate a sense of place. There are times when the, the pieces themselves, the objects and the sculptures will be, uh, can operate autonomously, be, you know, isolated on their own in the gallery space, in the domestic space, in the museum space. But also that they can, alongside other elements, they can be about something else, they can be about landscape, about place. I mean, this situation is very new to me. I'm not coming from you know, a history of teaching in other schools. Uh, I have I've taught over the years, usually by invitation to come for short periods of time to meet students, do one-on-one -on -one tutorials and, uh, you know, give talks. So all the things that most artists kind of involve themselves in. Um, I guess the reason I was interested in uh, taking up this position was that I found, uh, well, a number of reasons. I think it's, it, it becomes a point where you begin to appreciate that you might have something to put back into a situation. And um, as you build up uh, experiences and a body of work, uh, that, you know, there's, there's something there to be kind of, you know, yeah, put back in and to pass that on. Um, but really, for me, it's always a two-way thing. It's, 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 a, it's a dialogue, and not here. I don't feel like I'm someone who has something to. I can tell you this, and this will make sense, and this will improve your life and your work, and so on. It's not about that at all. I mean, of course, it's very much more about a communication and a dialogue, uh, two-way thing. Um, teaching for me, uh, when I when I was in college, this was was a very very really important thing, and. I really, my experience at school, uh, at our school, I still hold very close to me. Uh, it was very particular, it was a very particular department in Glasgow called the Environmental Art Department. And it was a department that sat kind of in between everything else. It wasn't quite painting, it wasn't quite sculpture, it wasn't quite photography. It was a place that focused on context. Uh, we did uh, projects in the public realm. Uh, that was a big part of the course. And, but, you know, so there was happening within the department, there was performance and video, and of course all the things, drawing, painting, sculpture, everything could happen simultaneously. So in a sense, it felt like somewhere it generates a different, if we look at the, the contemporary art landscape, a lot of people are working in that way, that we're not fixed by one medium. And the way the the, the professors there dealt with things, it was very, it became like a family, it was very open, it was very nurturing, it was uh, very social. You know, at the time I did probably didn't appreciate it because I didn't know anything different, but uh, when I reflect upon it and I talk to my peers who went through the same thing, we all value it to such a great degree and we're still very close with those professors, they're, they're an important part of our lives still, you know, I see them. And uh, I think you know, all we can do in a sense is you can bring your own experiences and you process them and you, you take what you thought was valuable and what was useful and, and then through my own experiences you hope that you can generate a situation that can, can be useful for the students. I guess I want the students to bring, you know, to bring a, a you know a kind of positive energy to the group. 
And I think, but within that's very important that we find a structure where we can be critical, but without being, without that being kind of antagonistic. So I guess what I wanted to bring is, is this positivity um, and a, a kind of, um, yeah, I, I, that we can sort of care for each other's development, um, but in the same way in a serious, critical manner. Uh, and yeah, and I, I would like them to also, and we'll see how this happens, but I'd like as much as possible uh, students to be present, to work in the school. Uh, I and mean, it seems to me the conditions are, are good for that. Uh, at the moment we have enough studio space, um, more than I've seen in most art schools. Um, but, but I think yeah, that the students can be present and around each other as much as possible. Uh, I think that's a really useful thing. I mean, again, going back to my own experience, uh, the school was very like that. Uh, we would, you know, we would work and the tutors would be, or the professors would the tutors but uh, they would be around by day and then they would go away but then we would be in the building until late at night and either working or just hanging out and I think that a combination of the working the hanging out the talking the social critique all those things you know turn into something Uh, I think, yeah, from, from the class, uh, you know, I, I think it's important also to listen you know, to, to the students. So there's a combination of what I can, what I intend to bring. And, and then over time, through discussion with the students, what, they, what their kind of needs are, what's missing, perhaps, uh, what, what, what areas they would like to explore. Uh, and we can explore those together. So, so the class should also become like a kind of research for all of us. But my primary interest in, in my own practice and, and I guess what I would like to think about in relation to sculpture is relationships between objects, between things and between space. Um, so, so how a number of objects in space can generate almost like a, a habitat for itself or generate a sense of landscape, a sense of place. Um, looking at archetypal landscapes, uh, the built environment, the natural environment, uh, and, and on all different levels, whether it's a vast uh, interior space, a vast exterior space, right into the much more intimate um, situations, whether it's something you can hold in your hand, you can still, you know, with three objects, you can, three tiny things, you can create a landscape. So, so this sense of place, context and objects and things um, I think will be the core of what we're looking at.